Hey fam, today I'm back with another Cooking with Mo Denise. Today we're going to be making twice baked sweet potato pie. I call it twice baked sweet potato pie because I actually baked my potatoes instead of um, boiling them on top of the stove and to me the skin is easier to peel that way. Also, we're going to be using Marie Callender's pie crust because I do not make pie crust from scratch so that's the best thing for me. Here are the ingredients that we will be using today. I did forget to put the uh, flour up there. I do use a little bit of flour, but to get started, we're actually gonna just go ahead and get these sweet potatoes peeled and get them into the bowl. So I like to bake my sweet potatoes because I think it's much easier to peel. And to me, it comes out with less strings. You don't have to worry about the strings in the sweet potatoes. Um, right here you see me, basically what I'm doing now, I take the little, um, if it's a little dark at the bottom where they baked at, I just take that off before I dump it in a bowl. I use about three medium sized sweet potatoes. So depending on how many pies you wanna make, this recipe right here will make you uh, two pies. And most of the time um, when you buy your pie crust out the shit, off out the uh, store, I believe it comes with two pie crusts anyway, so it's a perfect recipe for two pie crusts. And I'm just gonna clean up this last potato here and then we can get to the rest of the ingredients. So we're gonna get ready to add our sugar in. You wanna get um, a half a cup measure and you'll need a cup measure. So we're gonna add a cup of um, granulated sugar up. This is a new box, so it wasn't, I didn't open it all the way, I guess, so it was hard to come out. Um, but the measurements, unlike baking like a cake, do not have to be exactly precise, but you wanna get them close enough to. The sugar and the flour and the butter are about the only thing that I really measure. And then you want to do a half a cup of flour for this. And don't worry, it won't taste cakey with the flour in it. So you will need a blender for this recipe. Um, make sure you have a blender handy. I'm gonna incorporate two eggs. So I cracked my eggs on the side because I'm not the best at cracking eggs and I didn't want any shells. So I just cracked two eggs on the side and then we're just gonna um, dump them into our flour and um, sugar mixture. And then you wanna take your um, handheld blender and just incorporate everything together. Make sure it's blended really well. It should start coming out to be a creamy um, consistency. Now we just gonna go ahead and speed this process up. But just make sure when you all are fixing this at home that you do make sure that there's no lumps and that you blend it really well. So what you wanna do is have some softened butter. I didn't have any softened butter, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this butter, about a stick of butter, and just melt it down in the um, microwave while I add the rest of my ingredients. So you wanna get ready to just put a dash or two of cinnamon, um, depending on if you like cinnamon or not, that's how much you wanna put in there. Nutmeg, now I put ground nutmeg. Be careful with the nutmeg, you don't wanna over put nutmeg in it. I just go by the smell, I can smell when it's just too much. And you see me dumping in the um, butter after I heated it up, but I don't measure the nutmeg, I don't measure the cinnamon, I just go, just go by your liking. That's basically what I do, just go by my liking. And then you wanna go ahead and get the butter, cinnamon, and the nutmeg all um, combined together. Now, if you don't like nutmeg, you do not have to add it, but I do add a dash. Okay, so I actually put lemon in my sweet potato pie. Some people don't, some people do. 
Um, to me, I like it with a little bit of lemon extract and vanilla extract combined together. That's my preference. Um, I haven't had any complaints. Um, most people love my sweet potato pies. I've even sold a few of them. So I would just say dump this in as you're liking as well. And normally you can smell. By this time, you should be able to smell what the pie tastes like. Okay, once we've gotten these ingredients incorporated really well, we're gonna actually add our evaporated milk. I use pet milk. Um, you can use carnations if you like. Some people use regular milk. I go ahead and use the uh, pet milk because I feel like that's the best on the market. Um, this is your recipe now, so you can uh, use milk or carnations if you like. And then when you mix this up, I start off with a half a cup and then I'll add, look at the consistency and then I'll add a little more if needed. Um, after I blended this pretty good, I add a little bit more cause it was still a little uh, thick and tight to me and I don't want a tight, heavy pie. So I just go ahead and add a little bit more to it. As I scrape the sides, I don't know if you guys can see the consistency, but see how it's really tight. And that just let me know that I need to add a little bit more of the evaporated milk. So we're pretty much done fam. So at this point, basically, if you feel like you wanna add some more nutmeg, cinnamon, sugar, butter, whatever you feel like you wanna add to your pie, this will be the last chance that you have to add it. Make sure that everything is incorporated really well because we're gonna go ahead and get ready to transfer these into our um, pie crust. Try to find some pie crusts that aren't cracked up. Um, mines are a little cracked up because that's all they had left pretty much. But you wanna evenly distribute between both of your pie shells. So I just go do the back and forth method a little bit over here, a little bit over there. And then um, you'll shake it a little bit so they'll smooth out in the crust. Um, at this point, you should have your oven heated to at least 350 degrees, so to go into a warm oven. Now, as far as the bake time, I really don't have a bake time. I just look at the color. Now, one step that I uh, miss that we normally always do is right before you put your pie in the oven, you actually want to um, cover the edges of it with a little bit of foil. In midway cooking, you wanna take the foil off so that your crust doesn't get um, too dark while your pie is baking. Okay, y'all, your girl did her thing. These pies look good before they even go in the oven and they already smell good too. Make sure that that oven is preheated though, preheated to 350, okay? When you want to know if it's done, just stick a fork in the center and make sure it comes out clean, but don't overcook it. Now, don't forget to make sure you trim the little edges. It's a little uh, tedious, but trim the little edges of the pie with a little bit of foil. And then midway in cooking, you want to take it off so you can get this nice, pretty golden brown color. I didn't show you guys that part, but that's the color that you want to get for your pies, okay? I love this the recipe came out wonderful I hope you guys do try this recipe if you do drop a comment below thank you so much for watching fam until next time bye